Monarch by Resnum is a two to four player game where each player assumes the role of a sister trying to vie for the crown. You must choose your strategies that will bring prosperity to your land and glory to your court. Will you be a leader of culture, wisdom, or maybe even might? Compete to prove you are the superior sister and the one who should be the rightful heir to the throne. Who will assemble the most powerful court and become queen? Let's find out in Monarch. To start, shuffle and place nine of the land boards to create a three by three grid in the center of the table. This will be your board. Place the remaining land boards back in the box. Shuffle the market deck and place it next to the board within reach of all players, then reveal the top five cards to form the market row. If you reveal any moons, discard them and replace them with the next card from the market deck. In the market row, you will find a few different types of cards. Court cards are the advisors, allies, and symbols of strength that sisters can acquire for their courts. However, such power comes with a price. Each court card costs gold, or in the case of bounty cards, gold and food, to acquire equal to the number shown in the upper right corner. They provide crowns for the sister who buys them and places them in her court. Make sure to read the court cards carefully as the number of crowns they provide can vary depending on their other cards in your court. Village improvements will provide more gold for the kingdom. These cost the number of food listed in the upper right hand corner. If chosen, the player will place it on top of any village board or any board that provides gold. That village will now provide the number of gold listed at the bottom of the card when any sister taxes. These cards may also have a path, or suit, that can help with your banner at the end. Village improvements can be placed on top of other village improvements if it is greater than or equal to the card it is replacing. Farm improvements will help provide healthy harvests for the kingdom. If chosen, the player will place it on top of any farm board or any board that provides food. That farm will now provide the number of food listed in the small apple in the center of the card. Farm improvements can also be placed on top of other farm improvement cards as long as it is greater than or equal to the number card it is replacing. If any improvement cannot be placed, it can be purchased and sent to the discard pile. Unwanted guests are, as their title suggests, unwanted in your court. Sisters can try and cause mayhem in other sisters' courts by sending unwanted guests. Though they do not take up any spaces in the recipient's court, they do subtract from her crown total at the end of the game. There are a few court cards that allow a sister to remove an unwanted guest, but these cards only have that effect at the time they are first acquired. This is the only way to remove the unwanted guest. Moons are unexpected events that impact Minervia. This event can be good or bad. These cards are triggered as soon as they are revealed in the market row. Some moons will make you immediately gain or lose either food or gold. Other moons give the sisters the option of combining their food or gold to receive the bonus. If this moon is revealed, the sisters will openly discuss whether they are willing to pay the price and negotiate how much each sister will pay. Place the five banners near the board, either above the market or above the board. If this is your first game, you may want to consider playing without the banners since they add some extra rules. Finally, give each player five food and five gold. Now you're ready to play. The youngest sister goes first and play continues clockwise around the table. On your turn, you can choose one of three options, harvest or tax, purchase cards from the market row, or sweep the market for three gold. If you choose to harvest, add up all of the farm improvement cards and you will gain that number of food. In this example, after adding up everything, you would receive 10 food. If you choose to tax, add up the village improvement cards and you will gain that number of gold. So in this case, you would receive nine gold. Remember, you can only do one of these actions per turn. If you choose to purchase cards from the market row, pay the card's cost shown in the top right corner and place the card into your court. If you choose to sweep the market, pay three gold to put all of the cards in the row into the discard pile and reveal five new cards. This is a great option if there's nothing you want or to keep your sisters from getting a valuable card. Your collected court cards are kept in front of you so your sisters can keep an eye on you. Unwanted guests do not count as a part of your court, but overstay their welcome near your court. Unfortunately, your estate is large enough to host many unwanted guests. When you buy a court card, you are allowed to replace an existing card. This will allow you to replace some of your lower value cards, or, if you weren't paying attention, a card that will negate crowns at the end. However, 
you may not replace an unwanted guest with this card unless it specifically says on the newly acquired card. Remember those banners flying around your game board? During your turn, you may choose to commit yourself to one of the five paths of leadership. Might, culture, wisdom, bounty, or balance. Each banner will provide the sisters with bonus crowns at the end and give them an edge in her quest to become queen. In order to fly a banner, you must meet the requirements described at the top of the card. If you do, you will place the banner in front of you. This banner is now yours for the rest of the game. No other sister can take it from you. However, you have committed to this path, and thus, the banner cannot be exchanged. You will quickly learn who is going for which banner. You may want to keep this in mind when choosing cards. When a sister has filled her court with seven cards, finish the round, and the game is over. You may not have more than seven court cards, but you can upgrade cards during the end game. Scoring is simple. Just add up all of the crowns on your court cards. Don't forget about the bonuses on your banner. Whichever sister has the most crowns has proven herself worthy to be queen and wins the game. And that's Monarch.